Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going into how you can prevent oil starvation on your EG powered Subi. First though, let me explain how the oil system in your engine works before going into what oil starvation actually is. In an engine, there are hundreds of components that are in contact with each other, and without proper lubrication, the material will start to eat away at each other and damage the component, create excessive heat, and etc. This is why we need to have oil in our engines to keep them running smoothly and reliably. The oil is pushed through various passageways and galleys or holes to lubricate all of the engine's moving components like the camshafts, the crankshaft, the rods, etc. The oil usually drains to the bottom of the engine into the oil pan where oil collects before being sucked back up by the oil pump to the oil pickup tube which is located in the bottom of the oil pan. Oil starvation normally occurs when the oil pickup tube sucks in air instead of oil. When this happens, the engine's components won't get the necessary oil to lubricate themselves. Whenever this happens, all sorts of carnage may happen. Spun bearings, scratch marks and grooves on the camshaft lobes and crankshaft, etc. Point is, you really don't want it to happen. The oil pickup tube can suck in air as a result of low oil levels or doing track days as tracks often feature high speed corners which leads to high cornering G's, not normally found in regular city driving. When going around a corner at high speed, we feel our bodies being pushed towards the opposite direction of where we are turning. This is known as lateral acceleration. This force also applies to the oil, which, when subjected to high g-forces, will start sloshing around the oil pan and in extreme cases, slosh to one side so much that the oil pickup tube starts sucking in air. In this animation, the tanker truck is slowing down and all the water is sloshing to the front of the truck. But the same can be seen when you're going around a corner and all the oil sloshes to one side. This is one of the biggest problems with the OEM EJ series pickup tubes. Additionally, the OEM oil pickup tube is actually quite weak in terms of supports. Uh, here we can see that there is only one additional mounting point, which even has a hole in the middle of the bracing here. On top of that, you can see here that the oil pickup tube decreases in diameter around this bin, which restricts oil flow. Lastly, another flaw with the OEM pickup tube is with the construction. The pickup tube is brazed, or in other words, soldered together at a low temperature using a flux. Some residue of this flux can be seen here with the gold coloring, and it is supposed to be removed after manufacturing, but as we can see here, it is still uh, visible, which can actually degrade the welding. The tube itself is actually just a flat sheet of metal rolled into a tube and welded together at the seams. While this is cheap and quick to produce, this construction style is flimsy and can end up to cracking or just leaks where the oil pickup tube ends up sucking air. This reinforced pickup tube from Killer Bee Motorsports on the other hand is much more sturdy. You can see here that it has two additional braces with this triangular support bracket here which makes it much stronger than the OEM unit. The steel itself is also a lot thicker, three times thicker in fact, so yeah, it's safe to say you won't have to worry as much about the pickup tube breaking. Lastly, you can see here that the tubing's diameter stays consistent even at the bends because this is a mandrel bent tube. This mandrel bent construction allows oil to flow more freely and puts less stress on the oil pump since there is no bottleneck around the bends. This makes the Killer B oil pickup tube a great mod in general, even if you aren't taking your Subaru out on the track since it makes sure that you won't have any problems with your pickup tube breaking in the future. Another mod you might want to install to prevent oil starvation is a oil baffle pan. Going back to what I said about the oil sloshing around when going around corners, this baffle pan allows oil to fall down into the oil pan uh, from the crankshaft and other components but prevents the oil from slashing out of the oil pan. This helps to prevent uh, oil starvation as a result of high cornering G's when going around the track. Some baffle pans have a one-way grommet that allows oil to flow into the oil pan but completely blocks it from going out. The install process is quite difficult since, since it is quite cramped in there and it required the front subframe to be loosened uh, a bit in order for the oil pan to be removed and also the headers. So I would recommend getting a shop to do it, especially if you don't have the tools or mechanical know-how. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful and informative, and that you Subaru owners watching this right now might consider these mods, just to make sure your EJ motor stays alive and healthy for as long as possible, even if you don't have any plans on taking it to the track. 
Either way, leave a like if you enjoyed it, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or critiques, and do subscribe for more content like this. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.